Hi there, my name is Anna Alexia Vazile, and I'm a San Francisco-based fashion, travel, and commercial photographer. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to up-level your photos, as I do with my photography business, from something that is ordinary to extraordinary using Adobe Creative Cloud Express. Let's take a look at an example. So sometimes when we take a photo, we can have a really fantastic image, but maybe there's something missing and we just want to add a little something extra that adds that cherry on top of our image, that extra little bit of pizzazz. So here, if we take a look at this photo, it's a beautiful image. The subject is in a wonderful pose, but we're sort of missing something in the sky. And so to add a little bit something extra here, I'm gonna take a look at my design assets using Creative Cloud Express. Once I click on design assets, I'm trying to think about what could look interesting to have in the sky. Maybe there are some clouds, but I'm super into color, so I really wanna add a rainbow. So I'm gonna go over here and type in rainbow. And once I hit enter, I notice that within my design assets, there are a bunch of different options. We have some illustrations of rainbows, as well as some design assets that are a little bit more photorealistic. And that's a little bit more of what I'm going for, because I really want the rainbow to feel organic and natural within the frame. So I'm going to click on a couple design assets just to see how it looks. And kind of into this one. And then... I also like the way this one looks as well. So just taking a look at these design assets, this one here, I like the way it moves horizontally across the frame, but it's a little bit too dark and it doesn't quite match the colors that I have going on with the rest of the image. So I'm gonna hit delete and trash that one. Then with this design asset, I really like it. It definitely looks a little bit more realistic, but it's a little bit too small for what I'm going for. I really want something that moves all the way across the frame. So I'm gonna trash that one too. Now, when I scroll down even more, I see something that's catching my eye, which is this design asset. Now, I really like the way it moves horizontally across the frame with a little bit of a diagonal direction, but I'm noticing that down here, there's a really clear beginning and end to this design asset. And I don't want that to be visible because again, I really want the design asset to blend into my image seamlessly. So what I'm going to do is I'll click on the design asset and then I'm just going to make it bigger by drawing this out here. If you want to make it smaller, you can do that as well, but I'm actually going to make it bigger and then bring it up here. Let's see how that looks. Hmm. I can definitely still see this clear delineation of where the design asset begins and ends. And so I'm going to make that even bigger to really get rid of that space so that it's not even in our frame. So let's see how this looks. All right, so that's definitely solving our problem down here. So I'm gonna scooch it over a little bit so that we don't see that line, but I'm still really clearly seeing it right up here in the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'll make the design asset a little bit bigger and draw that line up out of the frame and it already looks so much better here. Again, I'm just sort of playing with the size, moving it around to make sure that we don't see that clear beginning and that clear end. Also, if you wanna play with opacity, you can mess around with that over here on your right and draw this all the way to the left to get rid of you know the colors and not see them as much. Or if you really wanna see everything, you can draw it more to your right my lovely cats making wonderful noises in the background. So I'm really into the colors here. I'm gonna leave it at 100% because that is what really feels the best to me. I want this rainbow to pop because what I'm really going for here is something that adds a lot to the image. So once I feel like it's good, I'm just gonna click outside of the image. And here you can see that we took a really ordinary photo and made it extraordinary by adding design assets using Adobe Creative Cloud Express. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you feel inspired and that you will do great things with your photos using Adobe Creative Cloud Express. For more of my adventures and my photography work, you can check out my Instagram down here at Anna Alexia. See you soon.